This is Equestrian Jeopardy! Introducing our contestants from Papillion, Nebraska, Adam Full Circle Townsley. From Omaha, Nebraska, Emily, no pony named Jimmy Kay. And also hailing from Omaha, Nebraska, Anthony, thank you, Tracy Alito. And first of all, the grand prize that, you, that the winner of tonight's game will receive, that being a $15 Walmart gift card and a custom-made derby blind bag pony made by our own Josh Smith. All right, over there in the audience. Give him a round of applause. Awesome. Now, the mention is that this Jeopardy game might actually be played at what, just like this at Phone 3 Con. The actual Phone 3 Con is coming up in Omaha. Everybody's uh, pumped tonight. I think you look excited. Do you look excited? All right then. Well, with everybody smiling and ready to play, let's set the board in motion. All right. The categories for tonight's game are of the following: Pitch Biblical Ponies, One Hit Wonders, Equestrian Geography. Characters, notice the quotation marks, inspiring titles, and antagonists are magic. All right, Adam, you were, the, you were the first one to be picked tonight, so you will be the first one to select. All right, pick a category and a dollar amount. Let's get going. All right, let's go with antagonists are magic for 200. All right, then, here is the clue. You may be tempted to join them when they tell you that they're the best aerial team in the Everfree Forest. Adam. Who are the shadow boats? The shadow boats are correct. All right, you select again. Let's take Antagonist or Magic for 400. Antagonist or Magic for 400. Rainbow Dash is surprised that when this once close friend from Cloudsdale turns out to be a total jerk. Uh, Anthony. Who is Gilda? Gilda is correct. Control moves over to Anthony. Let's try Pitch Biblical Ponies for 200. Pitch Biblical Ponies for 200. This main character was originally slated to be a white and yellow Pegasus named Surprise. Adam. Who is Pinkie Pie? Pinkie Pie is correct. That control moves over to Adam now. Let's take Pitch Biblical Ponies for 400. Pitch Biblical Ponies for 400. Earth ponies have a special connection with nature, which is why this character was originally conceived as an earth pony. Emily. Who is Fluttershy? Fluttershy is correct. Control moves over to Emily now. Antagonists are magic for 600. Antagonists for 600. This chicken serpent has a stone cold stare. Dabba. What is the cockatrice? A cockatrice is correct. All right, so the control goes over to you. Select. Antagonist for 800. Antagonist for 800. What gives this character the right to make fun of the cutie mark crusaders? Her special talent is wearing a pretty hat. Anthony. Who is Diamond Tiara? D Diamond Tiara is correct. All right, now control comes over to Anthony, select. Let's go back to Pitch Biblical Ponies for 600. Pitch Biblical for 600. They say this young filly doesn't have any family, but believe it or not, Cheerilee is actually your sister. Or at least she was in Gen 3.5. Adam. Who is Scootaloo? Scootaloo is correct. All right, you select now. Let's go with Pitch Biblical Ponies for 800. You might recognize this character's name from Lauren Faust's DeviantArt account. She was also the inspiration for Rainbow Dash. Emily. Who is Firefly? Firefly is correct. You select. One Hit Wonders for 400. One Hit Wonders for 400. He greeted Applejack and her friends when they came to visit the town of Alphalusa. Emily. Who is Brayburn? Brayburn is correct. A question in geography for 200. A question in geography for 200. The name of this pony city is a play on words of the name of this human city in England. Adam. What is Trottingham? Trottingham is correct. Control goes over to Adam now. 
Let's go with the question of geography for 400. Geography for 400. The city where Pony Joe runs his donut shop, the one that Spike got sugar wasted at. Anthony. What is Canterlot? Canterlot is correct. You select now. Let's finish Pitch Paper Club Ponies for 1,000. For 1,000? Copyright issues forced an alteration to her name. She was the first of the CMC to be developed. Anthony. Who is Apple Bloom? Apple Bloom is correct. Her original name was Appleseed, but copyright issues forced it to be changed. All right, you select again. One Hit Wonders for 200. One Hit Wonders for 200. Hello there, I'm sure you remember this cute little British coach who says that Luna is his favorite princess. Emily. Who is Little Pip? Uh, little Pip is correct. Little Pip is correct. All right, select again. Characters for 600. Characters for 600, here it is. Look out, here comes this rather large and greedy, inspiring character whom Rarity won't let out of her sight. Adam? Was it Dragon? No, that is incorrect. Emily? Who is Tom? Uh, you, were, you were able to ring in just time. Who is Tom is correct. All right, credit her for that. Um, characters for 400. Characters for 400. If you've gone insane because you think your friends don't like you anymore, you may seek the friendship of this French bag of baking ingredient. Anthony. Yes, Madame Le Flower. Le, Le, Madame Le Flower is correct. One hit wonders for 600. For 600? If there's anything that this character taught, uh, taught to us, it's that when you lie to make yourself look bigger, you're just setting yourself up to be chased by a giant bear while looking like a fool in front of everybody. Emily. Who is Trixie? Trixie is correct. Inspiring titles for 200. Inspiring titles for 200. This episode title refers to a celestial phenomena where the Earth, Sun, uh, where the Sun, Moon, and Earth are all aligned. Adam. What is Lunar Eclipse? Lunar Eclipse is correct. Control goes over to you. Let's go with question geography for 600. Geography for 600. Pinky, a pinky promise was broke by Applejack in this place. Emily. What is Appaloosa? No, that is incorrect. Adam. What did Dodge Junction? Dodge Junction is correct. Control goes over to Adam. Let's go with Geography for 800. Geography for 800. When Applejack was just a little filly, she went to live with some of her relatives in this city where she saw Ro Rainbow Dash's first sonic rain boom and got her cutie mark soon after. Adam. What is Manhattan? Manhattan is correct. Select again. Let's finish it down for a thousand. For a thousand. The great and powerful Trixie boasts that she battled an Ursa Major in this town. Anthony. Where is Hoffington? Hoffington is correct. One Hit Wonders for 800. One Hit Wonders for 800. Although this background character has appeared in several episodes, her, her name was officially, at least as far as the bronies are concerned, made canon in the episode Luna Eclipse because of the costume she was wearing. I Nobody? All right, the correct response was, who is Colgate? All right, you can select again. Let's finish One Hit Wonders for 1,000. For 1,000. This character from the last roundup, who is Apple, who Applejack went to work for after she didn't win the first prize at the rodeo. Anthony. Who is Cherry Jubilee? Cherry Jubilee is correct. All right. Antagonists are magic for 1,000. For 1,000, finishing off antagonists. Though inherently good, this character was temporarily corrupted by greed for material possessions. However, it was not Discord that made this character become this way. Anthony? Who is Spike? Spike is correct. Characters for 200. Characters for 200. Rainbow Dash was not thrilled about the prospect of carrying this wooden character into Appaloosa, and it's not Fluttershy. Emily? Who is Bloomberg? Bloomberg is correct. Select like again. Inspiring titles for 400. Inspiring titles for 400. A 1934 Agatha Christie mystery novel was the inspiration for the title of this episode. Emily? What is mystery on the Prime Express? Um, uh, yeah, we'll count that one. Yeah, yeah, mystery of the Friendship Express. You got it, you got it close enough. All right, so you, you, you select now. Inspiring titles for 600. This title shares the name of a popular Japanese RPG series, better known in North America as Dragon Warrior. Anthony. Who is Dragon Quest? Dragon Quest is correct. Now you select. Characters for 800. Characters for 800. 
this character may be coming apart at the seams, but don't you really like her mane? Adam. Do we have smarty pants? Sorry? Do we have smarty pants? Smarty pants is correct. Uh, Any for a thousand? All right. This character with a New York accent went to pieces after calling Rainbow Dash a chump. Adam. Who is Rocky? Rocky is correct. Spire Tail is 800. Spire Tail is 800. Daily Double. All right, now this this uh, clue will be exclusively for Adam, but before you can answer the clue, you must make a wager. You... Let's go for a thousand. All right, wagering a thousand dollars, here is the clue. Jack London's novella about a dog, Buck, trying to find his true nature was likely the inspiration for the title of this CMC episode that also resembles the title of a popular first-person shooter game. Any idea? Throw them in a towel. All right, I'm sorry, the correct response was um, what is Call of the Cutie? It is still, uh, well, there's only one clue left, so for a thousand inspiring titles, we have this. This title is an allusion to the 1990 James Elroy novel about a group of LAPD officers in a scandal magazine, The Hush Hush. Anybody? All right, the correct response was, um, what is the Ponyville Confidential? And that finishes off all the clues we have for this round, which leaves us only with the Final Jeopardy. The category for Final Jeopardy is... Tumblr Versus. Now you guys must make their wagers, all right? Take the take your name tags and fill your wagers in in the, uh, in the bars provided below. Wagers. Final Jeopardy. The category is Tumblr versus. Here is the clue. There are hundreds of Ask Pony blogs on Tumblr, like Ask Princess Molestia and Ask Pinky Surprise, but it was a blog called Ask This Character from the Show that was the first known Ask Pony blog to ever be created. 30 seconds. Good luck. You responded, what is Ask Apple Bloom? Ask Apple Bloom is correct, and you wagered $2,000. That brings you up to a total of $5,000. All right, next in place was Adam. With $5,000, you responded, what is Ask Twilight? I'm sorry, that's incorrect, and you wagered it all, bringing you down to a complete zero. Now, Anthony. How, what did you respond and what did you wager? Were you, who is Apple Bloom and you wagered? Hello, $6,400, bringing your total up to a grand $12,800. $12, you finish in first place, Emily in second, Adam in third. 